everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a current favourites. I haven't done one of these for a long while and I've bought so many new products so I'm already loving like pretty much straight away. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. So I'm going to start with eyeshadows. These have been a favourite for a while. Um, I bought the newer one recently because there's two of these. These are the Revolution palettes. These are Roxy's or Roxurises. This is her newer one. Um, I don't know if they have names. Uh, yes, the Colour Burst palette and the Ride or Die palette. I adore the Ride or Die. Ignore Theo, he's just had breakfast so he was like really playful. Um, I will show you this one first. Packaging is adorable. Oh my god, I need to drop that one. It's gold. <clears throat> it's very well loved. I literally love every colour in it. You can create so many looks with it. They're so pigmented. These are some of my favourites, especially Gingerbread at the moment, which I have on. I basically created the look using this palette today, using Gingerbread, Pumpkin and Cola. They literally are the only shades I've used and popped on some Primark lashes. This is £10 from Superdrug. Oh my god, it is definitely one to put on your Christmas list. The other one is the Roxaurus Color Burst palette. This is very colourful. I saw it and I was like, I think it's a highlight one. They do do a highlight one though. And then I opened it and I was like, oh, I need. So I picked it up um, last month. This is what it looks like. Oh my god, it's so colourful and pigmented. This lilac and this blue are the main ones that drew me to it in the first place. But the names as well, like Lavender, Fetch, Princess, Peaches. I don't know what it is. I literally love it. But you can also create so much with this one as well. This one is also £10. I definitely think they're worth putting in your Christmas list because honestly... Drugstore eyeshadow mainly is the way to go. So last month in Superdrug, we did a deal. If you spend £12 or more on Make Makeup Revolution, which I pretty much do all the time anyway, you get a free contour and glow kit. I showed this in my last video and I actually fell in love with it. It is amazing. Um, you get two contour shades. I kind of mix the both of both of both things. Um, you can buy little ones like this so you get highlight your contour and they do a concealer one i believe um they are like five pound i don't think they're a lot at all but i literally love this the packaging is gorgeous as always i'm definitely gonna be using this more i've used it today and it's hard to find like contour that blends in with my skin or actually blends on my face as it is especially with my skin tone and that has literally worked so well for me not only is this next one a favourite, it is a holy grail for me. So if you're like me, you love doing half cut creases or cut creases, but sometimes your like cut doesn't go straight or it's a bit wonky. I picked this up a while ago. This is the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. Mine's in Create because I'm quite pale. Oh my god, this is a god saver. It has a really fine brush. You get a lot of concealer comes off, so I have to kind of wipe it. It's lasting me forever. The brush is very hard and like thin. And it literally just cuts my crease perfectly. They'd be coming out so much better. Also, with the help of Powerline's flat brush, which if I can find, I'll quickly show you guys. It literally looks like this. Um, it's just a main flat brush. It's rose gold and pretty. Paid a pound for it, obviously. And oh my god, it has helped my like fine lines when it comes to cutting my crease so much. I can't recommend these products enough. So my skin like type has changed quite a lot. I've spoke to my mum as she worked for Estee Lauder and Clinique for 25 years. And she said I've got normal skin. So I picked up the um, MUA Pro Base Soothe and Cool Primer Stick a while back. This was £5. I think I got it for like £2. And oh my god, this has kept my foundation on all day. It hasn't parted. It hasn't gone funny or cakey. Oh my god, like it's actually finally worked for me. I've used Professional. I've gone through Baby Skin, which I don't. I do like the Baby Skin, the yellow one. Um, it's more of a moisturiser as well, which I like. I've gone through so many different primers, I can't explain. And this is the one that's mainly working for me in the moment. So I'm definitely going to keep using it. If you have normal slash slightly dry skin, then I definitely recommend this. And I mean, it's like £5 and you can't go wrong. There's so much product in it that's like that much. Like it's not just a tiny bit of the top. So I've got a lot of compliments lately on the glitter liner I use and like where I got it from. Poundland. This is the makeup gallery one, including a hair of mine. It was obviously a pound. Oh my god, I've gone through so much of this, like so many different bottles because it's so good. It's perfect. It stays on all day. Like you don't need to spend loads. It's a fine line. I use it for most cut creases because I just love how it looks. I also have some of the collection ones, which I found one in Poundland and I bought a few from obviously like Boots or Superdrug. And I literally adore them. And I just can't stress enough how much glitter makes such a difference. Even a fine line of it on your makeup. I literally love it. 
So this next one is uh, part of the Revolution Pro brand. I've been seeing people do like fluffy brows and stuff and I wanted to do more of a natural brow instead of how mine are quite like full and very like dark because I want to try something more natural and fluffy and like, I don't know, just different looking. Um, Revolution Pro currently has buy one get one half price at the moment. I'm not sure how long this offer lasts for. They've also got quite a few products that have got like a pound off or so. I know their foundation drops in our five pound instead of seven. But I picked this up. It's literally, I got mine in, oh, dark brown. Yes, it has a squiggle at the bottom because I obviously put it in my work. So you have to have a squiggle on it. It has a tiny fine like pencil and I tested it on my hand first. And you can do really fine fluffy lines so I can fill my brows out nicely with it. Excuse the brow one here, but it comes out like really neat as well. And you also get a spoolie, so I rate that. I love getting a spoolie because mine is breaking. I go through them too much. And I also do a lot of soap brows, so I feel like that would be nice to fill them in with that. I believe that retails for £6. This one is £4 or £5. I changed my pomade up to granite instead of dark brown because the dark brown just... It didn't look quite right because my eyebrows are naturally this dark, like the hairs on them are pretty much black. So I got granite, which is like one up from black um, and my hair's obviously black anyway. I found this pomade is looking a lot better. I think I need a new one anyway because it was drying out, but I'll always go by this. I just, I just can't personally work with the Anastasia dip brow. It doesn't work for me. I feel it makes my brows look greasy personally and it smudged a lot on mine. Otherwise, this one doesn't budge on me all day. Like my brows literally stay in place. I don't set them with anything. I do soap brows beforehand and that is literally it. Lately I haven't worn a lot of lipstick, not because I can't like, I haven't had, a, it's more I haven't had a chance, not because I don't want to. Um, I go for more nude colours, my favourite at the moment because it's autumn and I want one that mixes with my brown and red tones and orange tones is Cake by Soph by Makeup Revolution. I'll give you a swatch because this has been a favourite for a while. It's very pinky nude, it's also very similar to Velvet Teddy by MAC but obviously Velvet Teddy is a lot more expensive, I believe that's £4. Um, max ones are about £15.50 so if you want a dupe go for that one it's such a lovely colour I do have it on at the moment as well just so you guys can see actually what it looks like on I highly recommend it so today's Friday the 25th and yesterday was Thursday 24th I was at work we had 20% off all cosmetics with your beauty card so if you don't have a makeup like a super drug beauty card get one because you get these deals otherwise you don't and then you'll miss out on them. Register if you go to the desk and they ask you for one. All you need is your email address, your first like first name, and your surname, your date of birth, and because you get birthday treats on your birthday. Um, so I used my 20% off. Mel treated me some makeup because she knew it was 20% off, and that was really cute of her to send me money for it. So I picked up the iHeart Revolution Banana and Chocolate Baking Powder. Oh my god, it actually doesn't smell like chocolate and banana, so I'm kind of gutted about that part. But I have it on today, and it's set really nicely. No, a little bit banana -y, but not really. Um, it's quite dark, I didn't realise it's, it's dark but not too dark for my skin, it's huge. I needed a new powder anyway because the Freedom one I bought a couple of months ago that you saw in my Makeup Revolution hauls was green and not yellow, so yeah, that wasn't a good look. Um, that retailed for £5, because I have staff discount it and to the 20% off, I got it for about two, three pound. But even then, it is such a good price for a setting powder. I do recommend it. And the packaging is so fun and cool. So I didn't want to buy more makeup as in eyeshadow and all of that yesterday or lipsticks. I needed another fixing spray to test out because I have the hydrating one by Revolution. But I also wanted this because, oh my God, it smells so good. So basically one morning I was doing delivery. This like was a tester in the drawer. We had a tester on this, isn't the tester. And I smelled it and I was like, I need to buy this. And I obviously got it with my discount and my 20% um, off. And my God, cookies and cream is a smell. And apparently it's really good. I've read all the reviews and apparently it's incredible. Makes your highlight pop. So, I mean, I feel like where I've baked my highlight isn't as bright, but I can still see it. Definitely going to be using a lot of this. They also do a peaches and cream one, a green tea one. Um, a guava one I believe but oh my god that is definitely my favourite if you love baking smells get that and it's like five six pound but it apparently is really good I will find out after this so oh my god I'm just checking my hair so it looks okay sorry I looked a bit weirded out in the end of that video I got a phone call and I couldn't hear who it was because my phone tells me who it is because I've added like a voice thing on and it was an unknown caller but anyway um last thing is this spray it is a sort of a dupe of the Terry Mug Mugler or Mugler Alien perfume, it is Mykonos Nights by So, oh my god, like, I've gone through so much, I think actually half it did leak in my bag, 
But um, it smells amazing. Like, literally, I can't get enough of it. I love the Barley Breeze one as well. And I'm pretty sure all these are buying it on free at the moment in Superdrug. Or there's a deal on them, I know that, on Selected Lines. So, check that out. And, yeah, that was the last product I had to show you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I even straightened my hair for it. Give it a thumbs up. Go click subscribe. Don't forget to, like, comment any suggestions you want to see or any looks you want to see. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.